Let's show you how to do this dish that will get you out of all kinds of trouble when you're tired but you still need to get some food on the table. And the best thing of all, no stirring needed. So here's what you'll need for the dish. So risotto rice of course is the best, this is aborio. We've got some parmesan cheese, some fresh sage, some shallots, some garlic, some olive oil and some butter. You can use more olive oil and no butter if you prefer, but butter really makes it taste nice. Some stock, so I'm using a chicken glacé here to make the stock, but please choose whichever stock suits you. Some salt and pepper, our butternut squash, and then my secret ingredient. And this secret ingredient is really just because I haven't got any wine in the house. More on that later. One more ingredient, frozen peas. So let's get all of these prepped and ready to go in the Instant Pot. And then let me show you my secret ingredient. So I am using elderflower cordial. Now this has obviously got more sugar in it than it wine has. So I'm really hoping this isn't gonna mess up my recipe. And the worst that can happen is I get a very sticky rice on the bottom of the pot. So let's hope that doesn't happen. But if it does, we'll make this video into how to clean up a sticky rice instant pot. Okay, so we're gonna start by putting the instant pot on saute. So we're gonna wait for the instant pot to pre heat and then we're going to add our oil and fry these lovely fresh sage leaves and that's the instant pot preheated let's get those in and they don't take long at all and of course I'm using the instant pot duo crisp here and it's got that kind of slightly concave base so the oil all goes to the side so just move your leaves into the sides if you've got the Instant Pot Pro or the Ultimate, they've got this flat bottom, which is much better for sauteing, but we can make it work. Hopefully you can see that I've got the stage all around the outside where the oil has settled. So as soon as those have crisped up a bit, whoops, they're so crisp they've gone brittle. We'll get them out and put them on a plate to one side. We're going to use those for a lovely garnish at the end. Okay, so now we've got the sage out, just give another glug of olive oil and a little bit of butter as well if you like it. I want to make this a really luxurious, kind of creamy dish. Add our shallots. Whoops, as soon as that's melted. This will just take a couple of minutes and then we're going to add in our garlic. Add in my rice, so this is my two cups of arborio rice. Just gonna let the butter get to that. And I'm gonna add in my wine substitute, my elderflower cordial. And just give that a stir in. It's just about disappeared. So we'll add in our squash. Once you've got the knack of risotto, if you want to get a bit fancy, Gordon Ramsay usually makes some of uh, pumpkin or squash in our case into a bit of a puree and stirs that in. So that's nice. And another thing I have done is roasted a few pieces of the butternut squash when I've had more time and energy. So I roast those off in the air fryer and then use them as a garnish at the end. And that gives, again, just a little bit extra if you'd like it. But this is delicious as it is. So all we need to do now is to add in our stock. No need to add in a ladle at a time. Pour in the lot. A bit of black pepper. I'm not gonna add salt at this stage because my chicken stock is very salty. So better to season at the end if that's the case. Cancel saute, get the lid on. And we're gonna put it on pressure cook. Uh, six minutes and then click start. And that's us done. Okay, so that's our seven minutes up and we're now gonna do a quick release. Okay, so ready to remove the lid. The remaining steam come out. And it's normal in the Instant Pot to see a little bit of water on the top at this stage. Don't worry about it at all. Time to put in our frozen peas. I'm just gonna put a pan lid on top. You can put the pressure cooker lid on top. This just helps me see what's going on. So those will defrost and cook through very quickly in that steaming water at the top. And now you can see this lovely texture that we've got. And we're going to add in our Parmesan cheese. Check the seasoning. 
and a little bit of flaky sea salt. And there we have it. So that's how you make a lovely lunch for friends with very little stress. And if you'd like to see some more Instant Pot recipes, take a look at this video on screen now and I'll see you over there.